friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a cloud applique on a square swatch. Um, this is for my design, the Sky Clouds Blanket. It's a um, helpful tutorial, hopefully helps you. So I'm going to be doing a swatch with the Burnout Forever Fleece in um, rain. And then I'll be adding bobble clouds with the white. Um, I'll just do a square and then a cloud in the center to show you how to do it. So that's a yarn I'm using and I'll be using my furls Tunisian Crochet uh, King Snake Hook in 10mm and my furls Carousel Special Edition Hook in 10mm in P, size P. And I have a pair of scissors. Um, to cut when I'm done making the swatch and then when I do the bobble. So let's get started. So first I'm going to, oops. So I'm going to take some of the Rain um, Burnout Forever Fleece and I'm going to chain 25. So we're going to do a slip knot and then I'm just going to do 25. So 1, 2, 3, <clears throat> 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So we've completed a total of 25 chains. <clears throat> and then we are going to complete our foundation row which just means I'm going to turn the chain around and work into the back bump of each stitch so we're just going to go in to the back bump yarn over and pull up a loop go into the back bump yarn over pull up a loop go into the back bump, yarn over, and pull up a loop. I'm going to do that all the way across. I have a separate tutorial for how to do the foundation row and the Tunisian simple stitch. Um, if you need to watch, um, watch a slower video, um, I'll link to that here. You can click the eye. Um, so I'm just going to continue doing this all the way across until we have all of the loops on our hook then the way we do our return pass is we're going to chain one and then yarn over and pull through two loops all the way across so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and we're just going to continue that all the way across and that's called the return pass again um, you can see it in that tutorial if you want to take things a little slower Just gonna yarn over and pull through two all the way across here. All right, so there you have your foundation row, and then the way you do Tunisian simple stitch is you are going to go into the vertical bar. You never work into the first bar here. I'm gonna go into the next one and yarn over 
and pull up a loop and you're going to do that all the way across so go through the vertical bar yarn over pull up a loop go through pull up a loop keep going and do that all the way across and we're going to continue for about 20 rows so I'll show you a couple of rows and then over, pull up a loop, and then when you get to the last stitch. When you get to the last stitch, you're going to go under both of these loops and yarn over and pull up a loop. So you work into like under both of the loops at the end for a neater edge. All right. And then again, same return pass, chain one, and then pull through two loops all the way across. Yarn over and pull through two all the way across. Right, so I'm going to continue for about 20 rows and I'll meet you back. So I'll show you one more row before I go. So go through the vertical bar, pull up a loop, continue all the way across like that. Chain one, pull through two all the way across. And I'm going to continue again, as I said, for about 20 rows, and I'll meet you back, and we'll complete the bobble cloud. All right, so I've completed 20 rows, and now I'm going to bind off. And the way you do that is we are going to go into the next vertical bar, yarn over, pull up a loop like we usually do, but this time we're going to slip stitch. So you're basically doing a slip stitch bind off. So continue that all the way across. You might want to do this a little more loosely compared to how you normally would um, so that your the shape stays even on both sides. So I'm going to continue doing that all the way across. 
I have a separate tutorial as well for how to do the tenure and crochet bind off. Um, I'll link it here. You can click the eye. And then when you get to that last stitch, remember to go under both loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then pull through the previous loop. And that's how you do the bind off. So now I have my square ready, and I'm going to show you how to create the bobble cloud. Um, in my blog post, I have the color chart available so you can see the placement of the clouds. I'm just going to show you um, how I do the bobbles um, and what like um, sort of like what the order of the bobbles will be. You basically skip a stitch in between um, when you're doing the bobbles because they kind of take over the stitches. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just going to cut this yarn. We are done with the rain color and left a bit of a tail here I'll leave it in later so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna switch to the carousel um, hook the traditional crochet hook I'm gonna take some of my white yarn and then I'm gonna do it in this corner here so I'm going to count one, two, three. Let's start in the fourth row here and two stitches over. And I am going to take my white yarn, leave a bit of a tail, pull it through that vertical bar here. And I'm going to anchor it, which means basically I'm just going to slip knot onto here so that it's connected to the vertical bar and then we are just going to complete a bobble the same way we normally do so I'm going to hold the piece this way it was easier for me um, when I was working on the blanket so we are going to yarn over and pull up a loop and then we are going to yarn over pull through two and then I'm going to yarn over again, go into the vertical bar again, pull up a loop, and then pull through two. <clears throat> and then we have three loops here, and I'm going to pull through all three. And then what I'm going to do is do a chain, and then I'm just going to go into the vertical bar again, and slip knot into that so that you can see the bobble here formed. So I'm going to do that again. So the way I've placed the bobbles when working the clouds is again, as I said, I'm skipping one stitch in between and I'm going to do four bobbles for the bottom of the cloud and then three bobbles like off centered on the top. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're skipping the next vertical bar. I'm going to go into the next one and I am going to anchor it again by doing a slip slip stitch into it. And then we are going to work into this bar. So I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop, pull through two, and then I'm going to yarn over again, go in, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then I'm going to pull through all three. And then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to go in and slip knot into here so that we've completed another bobble. And then I'm going to continue doing that again. I'm going to do two more bobbles. So I'm going to skip the next one, go into the next one here, slip knot. So we've connected the yarn, yarn over, pull up a loop. Pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, 
pull through two and then we're going to pull through all three stitches chain one and then we're going to go back into this vertical bar and do a so you can start to see the cloud forming here so we have three bobbles so far then i'm going to go into the next nine to the next vertical bar i'm going to skip the next one and then go into the next vertical bar do the same thing and then yarn over and then pull through two yarn over pull through two here so we have three loops now I'm going to pull through all three and then chain one and then go back into the vertical bar and slip stitch and now we've completed the bottom of the cloud and then I'm going to go this way you kind of have to move your blanket around a little um in order to like get to the stitch that you want to work on so i'm going to turn it around this way now um and then <clears throat> make sure you know which stitch you just worked into i'm going to count one stitch up and then one stitch over so we're working into the off-centered so the stitches that we didn't work into in the previous row we're going to work into the stitch above that directly above that so i'm skipping this first one that's directly above the bobble i just worked then i'm going to go into this next stitch and i'm going to go and anchor my stitch like i did previously and it's going to do a it's easier to pull this way this time i'm going to do a stitch like that and then again yarn over pull through two here, yarn over, pull through two, and then we're going to pull through all three, chain one, go back in, and slip knot. Okay, and then not working into the next stitch, we're going to work into So we're going to work into this one, we're skipping one again, we're going to work into this one, and then we're going to anchor our stitch like we did previously, then we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, now you have three loops, pull through all three, chain one, and then we're going to go back in and do that. I have another tutorial for how to do surface bubble stitch. Um, I did another square pattern for a blog hop. Um, I'll link to that here as well if you want to check that out as well. And then I'm um, skipping the next one. Again, this is the last one. So the top has three bubbles, the bottom row has four bubbles, right? So we're doing the last one here. So we're going to anchor it. Then we're going to yarn over go through here and then pull through two pull through two and then we have three and then pull through all three chain one and then we are going to anchor into here as well and then that's it so you can see our little cloud has formed here i'm going to continue that um I'll do I'll do one more up here maybe. I'm gonna count maybe so we worked into this row one, two, three, four. Maybe I'll count four rows up and then um do one in this section here to show you as well. Um but basically I have a whole color chart that shows the placement of the uh, clouds, but this is pretty much how you complete them. Uh, I'm going to cut this yarn, leave a bit of a tail so you can weave it into the end. And let's uh, take this out. And then, yeah, just weave them in later. Um, again, I'm going to complete one more on this side here so you can see. So I'm going to count over 
maybe one, two, so one, two, three, four. Go into the fifth stitch across um, from the bottom row here. So let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. Five stitches over from the bottom. Um, and then we are going to go one, two, three, four, five stitches up maybe. And then I'll start in this um, stitch up here. Again, you don't have to worry about this tutorial specifically, but I have the color chart available so you can um, see exactly where the bubbles will be placed. Okay, and then I anchored the stitch. I'm going to go in and do one, two, and then you're going to just pull through all three stitches, chain one. Then go back in and I'm just gonna anchor it again. Then remember to be sure you're working into the same row. Um, it's very easy to get con for you to get confused and work into like the bottom row or the top row. Um, make sure you're working into that same row. So I'm gonna skip one, go to the next one, and anchor that stitch and then. You're going to yarn over, pull through two here, yarn over, pull through two here, and then just pull through all three loops, chain one, and then just do that again. So and then we're just continue continuing, you know, going across. So Again, make sure we're into that same row, skip one, go to the next one. And in that first row of the cloud, the bottom row, it's always going to be four bubbles. And the top row, it's going to be, it's going to be, um, it's going to be three bubbles to complete the cloud. So, and then again, I'm going to skip the next one. And go into this last one here and then pull up a <clears throat> pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two again, pull through all three loops, chain one, and then anchor your stitch again. And there you go. And then we're gonna turn the work. And then, so make sure you are in the right row here. And then we're going to go above one, not work into this one. Don't work into the stitch right above this bubble, but you're going to go into the next stitch after that. In the next row, anchor your stitch. And then we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then pull through all three stitches, chain one, go back in and anchor your stitch, and then make sure we're working into the right row, skip the next stitch, and then work into the next one, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then pull through all three. I'm going a little faster now, chain one, then we're going to link it back to that stitch, and then <clears throat> I have to complete one more stitch here, bobble stitch. I'm going to go into that last stitch here, and just Anchor your stitch, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and then pull through all three stitches, chain one, and anchor back into there. So that's how you complete the bobbles. I am going to link to the blog post below. Um, and this would be such a cute, lovey. Um, you know, just if you want to do a square and attach like a ring to the corner, you could do that too. But I have the tutorial for the, um, for the blanket on my blog. 
All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and let me know what you think. And I can't wait to see your blankets. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, follow, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff. I'll see you guys next time.